witnessed your house burn in flames right before your eyes? I have. I am Rienzi Immaculate Nunes and I am in grade 8. I live in Katpadi Velo. Do you know that each one of us are warriors? It is true. We are warriors. We just have to believe in ourselves. I would like to share a small incident that occurred in my life that we will never forget. And this taught me that we are chosen by God but not forsaken by Him. On December 10th, 2022, it's my cousin's birthday. We had gone to Bangalore for the function and we returned back to Velo at 10 o'clock in the night. After we had come home, my younger brother, he had gone to the first floor. In my house, we have a first floor and a ground floor. So when he had gone to the first floor, he could smell something was burning in the room. And he came down and he had told us that he could smell something funny. So my mother and my father had told me to go and check. Anyways, I had to take my luggage. So I accepted and I went. I carried all my luggages and I started climbing the stairs. A bright red light. That was fire. I was so scared. But... I ran down and I told my father. And my father ran up. He was so brave that day. I still remember. He ran up and he had seen a small fire. The shelf that had the blanket started burning. So he had rushed to the restroom which is inside the first floor. He took a bucket of water and before he came out, the whole room started burning. He was wondering how the whole room started burning in such seconds. After that, he covered himself with a blanket which was inside the water. Normally, if your house is in fire and you're caught inside the fire, dip a blanket inside water, cover it around you and come out. For fire to continue to burn, you need oxygen, heat and fuel. And by doing this, the oxygen level will go down. So after my father had come out of the room under the beds, so whole room started burning, the beds, the cupboards, the electronic gadgets, everything. He ran down and he told me and my younger brother and my elder brother to go and call for help. So we started screaming on the road that there's a fire in my house. We were all so scared and we wanted to fight because our house is burning. So we started calling everyone. The neighbors all came very quickly and one neighbor started calling the firefighters. The others started offing the mains. The others started bringing buckets from their houses to pour water. So it was the whole neighborhood was in a chain. They all were bringing water. They were pouring the water. All my neighbors were so brave. They were all warriors that day. And what I'm trying to tell y'all is, no one should go through this kind of sorrow. And those who go through this sorrow, they shouldn't. They did not deserve this kind of a disaster. There's a lot of loss that the family faces after this. Be very, very careful because the next day, firefighters who had come for the rescue that day, they had told us, that it was AC gas that caused the fire. AC gas acts as an energy. It produces the energy to the AC to work. So, if your AC gas is leaking, be very careful. Try to change the AC, try to change the AC gas by calling a very special mechanic who is specialized in ACs. And if you are caught in this kind of situation, don't panic. Be calm and just fight the situation for your loved ones. Be brave, be safe. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed.